How to use Evernote for Beginners 2023. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing day. I bring you back with yet another great tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be discussing how you can use Evernote as a beginner and how you can use it to your benefit. Evernote is a great note taking app and you can set schedules, give yourself tasks, give yourself notes and you can get notified using Google and you can integrate different apps and just make life much easier, much more simpler for you if you're a man with or a woman with OCD or any type of um, let's say mental thing or maybe you're just uh, maybe you're just born in that way where you need to set up your things on time or you you're easy to forget your tasks then Evernote is for you because obviously you can make notes for yourself and once you make notes for yourself you're not gonna forget them because Evernote is gonna keep reminding you so yeah that's basically what Evernote is good for and we're gonna get into the nitty-gritty and all the great details of Evernote so so just watch this video till the end we're going to be discussing Evernote in detail and going through all the points and plots of Evernote. So without further ado let's get straight into it. So first of all let's go and write Evernote. We can see Evernote is the best note taking app and you can organize your notes with Evernote. What is Evernote used for? Evernote gives you everything that you need to keep life organized, great note taking, project planning and easy ways to find what you need when you need it. We can also see that Evernote is totally free and the basic plan is totally free. The price of the, your plan has not changed, it's still free. You have all of the same Evernote features and services you had before. And now you even have access to the new task, so it's great. It's a lot like Trello or Microsoft OneNote or even Notion. So we can also see that Evernote is a privately owned company, not owned by Google or anything. So it's great for integration if you want to. Without further ado, now that we know what it does, let's get straight into it. So here we are. Tame your work and organize your life. Remember everything and tackle any project with your notes, tasks, and schedule all in one place. We can see that Evernote is great for working anywhere. Keep important info handy. Your notes sync automatically to all your devices. Remember everything by making notes more useful by adding texts, images, audio scans, PDFs, and documents. Turn to do into done. Bring your notes, tasks, and schedules together to get things done more easily. You can also find things fast. Get what you need when you need it with powerful, flexible search capabilities. You can also find your productivity happy place. See what's possible with Evernote. You can watch this video later if you want to. You can also see the great companies that support Evergood like Forbes, Inc., The Verge, Entrepreneur Magazine, Business, Well Plus Good, and much, much more. You can also hit every deadline. You can go paperless and go digital, clip the web. You can also connect your Google Calendar to make tasks much easier for you. So now that we know what it does, we can, we're can we going to see all the features. You can sync and organize with other applications to keep your notes handy. You have a web clipper, which is a save button for the web. There's tasks. You can bring notes and to-dos together. There's a calendar where you can connect schedules and notes. There's templates where you can create better notes faster. There's the document scanner where you can go paperless with Evernote. Search where you can find exactly what you need. And then there's the homepage where you can see Evernote your own way. Then obviously for individuals, there's Evernote free, Evernote personal, and Evernote professional. The free is obviously totally free. Personal is a $9 plan per month. And Evernote professional is an $11 plan per month where you can tackle any project at work or home. So now that we know what it does, let's go ahead and sign ourselves up for free. Obviously, we're going to go with a free plan for now and click on get started. So now that we do that, we're going to be entering our email. Then we're going to be setting up a strong password that Evernote's going to approve. And we're going to go ahead and click on continue. Now, once we get into the main uh, mainframe of Evernote, we can see that it takes us into the loading and it says that you're getting started. Now, as you're gonna slowly start noticing, Evernote also has this amazing user interface that just allows itself very easily to be used and it, it just looks great. It's simple to the eyes, doesn't sting the eyes, and we can see what brings you to Evernote, choose one for now. It could be work, it could be school, or it could be personal. So I'm gonna go with personal for now. So we're just gonna go in personal, click on next. Where will you use Evernote? It could be your phone, tablet, desktop app, or web browser. I'm gonna go with web browser. How do you plan to use Evernote? Writing, planning, or organizing. Now you can use it for any one of these. I'm gonna go with planning. Go with planning and click on next. Now, according to these options that you just chose, 
It's going to optimize your plan and it's going to optimize your main dashboard. So great. We found these plans we think you like. So you can go with this if you want to, but I'm just going to go or continue with a free plan. Welcome to the note editor. You can take its uh, tutorial later if you want to, and uh, you can complete all of its tasks, but we're just going to go ahead and uh, start with our own. So I'm just going to cross this. Now this is your main uh, Evernote note taking place. And over here, let's give our note a start. So let's make a title first note and then start writing or drag files from a template. So hi, this is my first note. This is my first note. And I hope the future me can read this in the right time. Please make sure to make podcast. And then you can also write more things like please make sure to make a podcast with let's say Gary V. And once you do that, you can insert different things like you can let's say, insert links, you can make dividers, insert attachments, images, checkbox, code blocks, you can also uh, place a link from your Google Drive, or maybe give a link to your Google Drive. So we're going to come up here into the color scheme, you can also change the color scheme, you can change the text if you want to. And once you do that, all you need to do is you're going to click on share, uh, you can make it a shareable link if you want to, that's totally upon you, you can also not share it if you want to. And once you do that, you can uh, email it to someone or invite someone email a copy totally depends on you. And once you've made a proper note for yourself, what you can finally do is when all changes are saved, just go to your home. And look at that your note is added right there. You can also just keep on adding new notes. And with every note you add, what you can do, you can also use these uh, templates that they have given you by themselves. And you can also set let's say here we go you can give yourself tasks like podcast podcast one here's podcast two and let's say podcast three and once you do that you can set these for today you can set those for tomorrow and much much more so let's say once you're here and once you're done with what you like again you're gonna go on home and look at that more notes are created then you can even create more notes and you can set dates for them to verify you on these certain dates and when to verify you they're going to send you an email of some kind or as a notification to your google calendar and for that obviously you're going to have to integrate it with your google calendar account so yeah that's basically it that is how you can use evernote to make your life much easier by writing notes for yourself and keeping yourself on track so i hope this video was helpful to you and if you want to see more like this please let me know down in the comments below but yeah until then i hope you all keep having a great day that was all from me and i will see you all next time goodbye